Can't accept that your mother still has serious reservations about your career choice. Yes? Yeah, sure. Let's check out the house. Okay. This is nice. Yum. Can we get some meals delivered here later? Yeah, sure, no problem. Can we get anything we want delivered here later? There is some serious money floating around here. And Anya has a whole entourage on tap. All she has to do is just whistle. Like you'd whistle to a dog. And it's just the beginning of the campaign. We've still got print media, billboard shoots. So we're going to see your ugly face everywhere, Hunter. I'm afraid so. Mm -hmm. And how much are you getting for all of this? Uh, for the shoot, eight. Eight thousand dollars. And some free stuff. Write down your size and I'll get some gear for you. Cool. Imagine all this money and energy put to good use. So can we come on set and watch? Well, I don't think Mum will approve. I'm, I'm shooting consumer porn. Hey, Mum. No argument from me. Hello! I was being a prima donna before, so I thought I'd make it up to you. Wow, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Um, except I really can't do tonight. Um, I... Hello. Shut up. I'm Justine. This is my daughter, Sophie. Oh, it's the girl you're doing the thing with. Hi, I'm Callum. We're the family. Come in. I'll get glasses. Sorry, but you were just so amazing in that hair gel commercial, but I bet you get that all the time. You probably get sick of uh, everything, sorry. right? Sorry. Time for her sedation. Come on, dear. I'm really sorry about that. Um, I can meet up with you later. Can't not you? at all. I would not miss this for the world. Your family is too cute. That lip gloss ad you did on top of the Eiffel Tower? Fully sick. Did they have you wear a harness? Not that you were wearing enough to cover it, of course. We actually spent the whole day freezing our bits off. Paris. Milan is nice. I so want to go there. Here you are working with our little fella. <laughs> Think he might do well? I'm certain of it. So, how did you get into modelling? My mother. Is it a recent career? Well, I mean, I started when I was 12, and uh, by the time I was 14, I was getting booked worldwide. And how did you keep up with your school then? They made me get a tutor. And that was enough to keep you passing exams? <laughs> no, but I didn't enjoy school anyway. By the time I was 16, I dumped it all together. So, what would you do when your modelling career ends? Apart from retire, you mean? Enough uh, with the interrogation, Mark. I just thought a lack of education might be a problem in midlife. Well, it might be if she's got the money. So, uh, what's your favourite city in the world, Anya? Uh, I like Osaka, Istanbul, Florence. I spend a lot of time there. Did you visit the Uffizi? I didn't do much shopping there, really. The Uffizi is an art gallery, one of the world's greatest. Oh, my broker's making me buy art. He's, he's getting me this chunk of wall for my London flat. He says it's amazing and it's, it's got graffiti on it by some famous guy like Bob Bobsy or something. Banksy? Yeah, that's the one. May I ask how much a chunk of wall costs? <laughs> I'm not sure. Less than a hundred, I think, like maybe 80. Not bad, I did. So, uh, what's your mother's problem? Uh, she doesn't want Hunter to be a model. How come? Well, Mum thinks the only worthwhile people on the planet are doctors like her and Dad. She's being a pain. My mother was a pain. All she wanted out of me was money. So as soon as I turned 18, I went behind her back and signed a major with Dorothea. I picked that cow. Do you still work for Dorothea? Uh-huh. You want me to send you some shoes? Thanks, but um, I heard they were slammed about how they made. Sophie? Oh, well, the samples they sent me seem fine. Yeah, but, you know, the whole sweatshop thing in Asia. Oh, right, yeah. Sitting on an assembly line for, like, a dollar a day. Wouldn't that suck? <clears throat> so, do you think maybe you shouldn't advertise their products? Why not? I mean, those people do have jobs, right? Yeah, but if someone like you spoke out, they might pay them more. I doubt it. I'm just a model. No one actually takes me seriously, except my broker. Why should it even be up to her? Leave it up to the unions. They beat up union officials if they go anywhere near the factory. Well, then it's up to the people and the politicians. Besides, Anya can help in other ways, like charitable donations and whatever. Oh, is that what you do? Mm, not if I want to retire filthy rich by the time I'm 30. <laughs> Embarrassing Hunter in front of Anya is not helping, darling. I am not staying silent while he <coughs> pretends that modelling is a career. Look, whether it is or whether it is the lad has to make his own way.
to end up in an exploited commodity like Anya. <laughs> I don't know who's exploiting who with that girl. You're just impressed by the money she's making. No, I'm extremely impressed by the money she's making. For poncing around, looking like she just got slapped. When her so-called career ends, she's not going to have a thing to fall back on. Apart from all that money. You're as bad as Hunter. Look, don't underestimate Hunter. He has the smarts to make a go of this. He might be chasing the dollar signs and the glamour right now, but that's not going to make him happy. It might. Don't be such a snob. I am not. Not everyone has to work for the greater good, Justine. We all need burger flippers and, and rubbish collectors. Hunter is meant for more than modelling. Fine. Then just don't harp on about it, Jazzy. It will buy you a whole load of grief. Uh, dinner for you lot will be here in an hour. Oh, good. Uh, well, time for another glass of champagne, eh, Anya? Yeah, sure. Well, I was thinking we could get out of here and um, check out that camp. We just got here and you're running out on us. Yeah, there's a lot of good things we can do around here. I mean, that jacuzzi looks really good. Oh, count me in. I'm so tense. So, can you do neck massages? Sure. Neat. Let's all have a jacuzzi, huh? Mm. Yes, let's. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's good, baby. Um, so, you're a doctor too, huh? For my sins, yes. What, like a surgeon or...? Uh, Mum's a surgeon. She heads an entire unit. Yeah, and Dad heads the primary care clinic. Oh, neat. So you look after the little kids, yeah? Uh, primary, in this case, means intervening early in health problems. Cool, I have a health problem. Let me guess, does he spell? Uh-huh, sometimes my heart just races, you can feel it pounding away. Right. Yeah. That could be cause for concern. Have you seen a doctor lately? No, what do you think's wrong? Well, I'd have to run a few tests. The first thing to do would be to check your diet. Oh yeah, I diet all the time. I meant, are you eating enough? Are you kidding? I mean, how do you think I stay this size? What about sleep? Are you getting a regular eight hours? None of this business. I can sleep when I retire. Alcohol? Oh, no thanks. I've got a glass right here. So modelling's not exactly a healthy lifestyle, then? Not really, but what is? Yeah, good point. Yeah, Mum and Dad work long hours like you wouldn't believe. And as soon as Sophie and I could put our own nappies on, we'd practically raise their sales. That's so sad. Mm. Oh, that neck massage was really great. I feel really woken up. Anya, I was thinking your symptoms might be related to your diet. If you don't eat a lot of red meat, you could be iron deficient, for example, which could make you weak and lethargic. Right. I mean, there's definitely something to think about that. Like, with me, though, like, I just tend to graze all the time, you know, like, I'm always picking at stuff, like, pick, 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 pick. Hey, you know, we should really go for a run later on and work off our dinner. Yeah. Okay. Don't bother, Mum. They um, send someone over to do that. I'm forked on the minimum wage. Yeah, well, at least he's on a wage. Now, I'm going to take Anya to the crew drinks after this, so you guys can just chill here. You don't think she's had enough to drink? She can handle it. Along with the dizzy spells. Actually, mate, she does have all the classic signs of an eating disorder. If she's tired, it's because she works hard. She's fit, she looks after herself, she's a professional, OK? <laughs> You guys haven't stopped since you got here. I wish I hadn't invited you. Hey, we're just concerned, that's all. Yeah, concerned that someone will ask what your son does and you'll just choke with embarrassment. I like this life, okay? So just shut up about Anya and, and deal with it. In term. Hang on, it's a bit harder than it looks. Hey guys, we're going for a stroll. Nice to meet you, Anya. Same, and thanks about the dining advice. Welcome. See you. So, anyway, do you think I should cut my hair like totally short? Should we get going? Yeah, sure, we'll just have a quick little pick me up before we go, yeah? And I reckon you two short or long, but personally, I go with short. Maybe here's not such a good idea. Should I bring a uh, runner to pick us up? Yeah, sure, whatever. Right, now that Mr. Nathan's gone, we can have a two. Yeah. You're kidding. You're a coke virgin? 
Okay, yeah. Oh, it's been a while since I met one of those. Okay, don't worry about it. This stuff is primo. I had it brought in for me. I don't trust the crap they sell here. I don't know. We'll take you to the crew drinks afterwards and there's a cute runner about your age. What the hell are you doing? Are you offering that mug to my daughter? I'm just leaving. Damn right you are. Just chill. How dare you offer drugs to my daughter? She is 16. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Where do you think you're going? Out. The hell you are. Did you know she had cocaine? Not specifically. We just assumed she did. Would you guys just chill? Hunter, she was about to give Sophie class A drugs. Excuse me, anyone gonna ask if I was actually gonna take them? Of course you weren't, you've got more sense. Your brother, on the other hand, is part of an industry where cocaine is swapped along with handshakes. Yeah, right, whatever. You should be ashamed of yourself. Why bother? You're doing a great job for me. You're ashamed that I'm not following in the family footsteps, I'm not going to uni, I'm being a model. Well, you go on being ashamed because I'm 18 and I will do what I like. Yeah, when we got back to mine. Ah, uh, that's okay. I collapsed straight afterwards. I feel like an extra in a zombie movie. <laughs> Should have had a little pick me up for breakfast. Anyways, makeup will sort you out. That and the magic of post production. As long as I can stand up, right? I should have bailed before dawn. Hey, I mean, at least you had the chance to hang out with Lars, and I think he actually liked you, which isn't going to do your career anyhow. Huh? Head. Oh, you're going to get used to that modelling at this level. You need stamina. That and was. <laughs> Boy, the look on your mum's face, man. Not my darling daughter. <laughs> Should we be concerned that our son didn't come home last night? I suspect he had somewhere much better to be, my darling. I don't blame him. You guys have been at him ever since you got here. Just tell me you didn't try that rubbish on you as before. I told you already. Boy, uh, why don't we step back a little bit and remember we're here to have a good time. Exactly. So, why don't we sneak over and have a look at the shoot? Hunter doesn't want us to be there. Yeah, but if we show we're interested, he might remember that we actually do care about him. Or he might think that we support his modelling so-called career. Didn't you hear him last night? He doesn't give us stuff what we think. If you guys keep giving him a hard time, it'll be exactly like when he was with Tess. You almost lost him then. You want to lose him again? No. Nice. Keep it up. Excellent. One more. Okay, take five. Good stuff. Nice one. Anya, as always, brilliant. Hunter, you were superb. Respect, man. Excuse me, I'm Callum Mackay. I'm Hunter's dad. Hello, Johansson. Pleased to meet you. This is my wife, Justine. Hi. And my daughter, Sophie. What a pleasure. What a beautiful family. I should get you to hold up a pair of jeans, take a photo, and we'd be done. <laughs> You're a charmer, Mr. Johansson. We didn't mean to get in your way. Not at all. I thought it was nice that Hunter wanted his family with him. He's a good kid. Oh, he certainly is. And he's working hard for us. He doesn't hold back. You don't mind that he's going to be famous. That remains to be seen, I suppose. He will. You should be proud of him. I am. Excuse me, please. Sure. Proud? Of course I'm proud. All I want is for him to be happy, and well, if this is what does it, well... Surprised you didn't bring placards to protest with. Save the anorexic models. <laughs> no, your mother's had a change of heart, Hunter. Well, she still thinks it sucks, but she's going to put up with it as long as you're happy. I must be starstruck. You're yeah, right. <laughs> They're all really nice people, you know. It's not all just drugs and eating disorders. I mean, they work really hard, they're creative. Most of them do films as well. Okay, back on. Are you okay? I'm just cold. Hey, is there any chance for like a five minute break? We, we've got the tide coming, we need to go. Sure, no problem. All right, and go for it. Yeah, that's it. Kiss it like it's the last time. Perfect! 
Help! Mum! Dad! So, get my bag out of the car. Hey, hey, we're fine. Medic! She's not breathing. Okay, let's go. Let's roll it. Four, three! Jordan Street is back tomorrow at midday. Tonight on when Darren McCullough investigates the vast increase in diesel.